sometimes we don't even know when we're stuck. We don't even know when we're struggling. And um, we, we just wanted to give you a little tidbit today as to like, hey, how, to, how, to, how do you do this? You know, like if you're confused, it's like, wow, just follow the energy. Hey, everybody, how are you? Welcome to another episode of Awaken Your uh, Work Life because so many of us go to work and we are not happy. <laughs> we got a little happier and we were able to not have our commutes through this last pandemic. <laughs> yeah. But it really, you know, um, Karen and I were just talking beforehand. And it's like, wow, we sometimes we don't even know when we're stuck. We don't even know when we're struggling. And um, we, we just wanted to give you a little tidbit today as to like, Hey, how to, how to, how do you do this? You know, like if you're confused, it's like, wow, just follow the energy. And, and some people go, follow the energy. What in the hell are you talking about, Joel? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does it mean? What does it mean? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and often it's just about what's expanding and what's opening up. And even if you don't know the how or why, follow the energy. It's like, oh, that's opening up. And that may just be part of your bridge to the next right step. Yeah. And so, yeah. Cause sometimes, uh, follow the energy. Cause I can hear people being like, Ugh, what the heck? Follow the energy. But it's like, <laughs> <laughs> notice where things happen with ease, where you're yeah. not pushing, where you're in the flow, where you like, if you feel like, Oh, here's a, here's a perfect example of push. You're on your computer and you're trying to get it to do something and the little thing keeps thinking it's spinning yep. and you're like, oh, I need to get that done. And you keep trying, you keep trying, you keep trying, you keep trying, like you've been there for 30 minutes now trying to get it to do something. That's push. Mm -hmm. That is push. And the, you're trying to force something into happening. The other way, kind of the flow, is get up and walk away let it cool. Totally. Get up walk away from the computer in the background, your brain is actually still thinking about like, why is that not working? Mm -hmm. Maybe I need to go back, turn the computer off, reboot it, try it again, but to get out of the spin yep. of trying to force something to happen. So that's that crazy. brings up a really, really valid point. So <clears throat> I always talk about there's the push and the pull. Yeah. And we have been told in all of our educational systems and all of our trainings and everything that you have to push, you have to go after it, you have to go get it, blah, blah, blah. And that's the divine masculine energy. That's the masculine energy of how we've all been trained, men or women, we've all been trained that way. And you know what, I gotta tell you, I've pushed like nobody's business in my life and I am successful for that. But there is a ceiling to that pushing when you don't get in the flow and when you don't follow the energy, which means just getting into the flow of what is of ease and grace, yeah, you actually create more hardship for yourself because it's not that you can't hit those goals and block and tackle and push and get there, but that's not actually where your true happiness is going to lie because you're going to get to that accomplishment and you're still not going to feel satisfied. Yeah. And the, the, um, the effort, and here's the thing, don't get me wrong. I think we need to have skin in the game, right? For anything that we're doing, we need to be willing to do the quote work. So mm -hmm. this is not, this is not like, oh, you're going to be able to go see, you should be able to sit on your sofa and make it happen. No, Julie's right about there being a tipping point where normal elbow grease becomes push and it you know what in economics is a there's a term in it, and it's probably also in um in other industries the law of diminishing returns mm -hmm. and the whole idea is there's a point after which the increase that you gain gets smaller and smaller incrementally so like so you might put in the same input same effort but you get less and less and less out so right. there is a point after which still putting in the same effort is not getting you what, what you want out of it. And so it happens with things like sleep, 
Mm -hmm. Like you might think that it makes sense to stay up all night. It doesn't because after a while you'll be spacing out and doing these things. And the same thing like that is that's push. Yeah. And that's what we're talking about is begin to notice when you're pushing in your life versus just good, good old fashioned effort. Well, like, yeah. When I have people map out my clients, when I have a map out, like what's your ideal work life? They always come in with the tasks and they go in the, um, this is a line I've been hearing a lot lately. It's well, this in this pay scale, because, you know, our left brain logical people have siphoned it down to, okay, well you can get a, you're at the top of your pay scale. So you can't get there unless you get a promotion. Mm -hmm. And, and I sit there and I go, Okay, but is that what you want? Like, but, 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 so they start ingraining in their mind that they can't get a pay raise because it's not in a pay scale and you become more of like a robot, if you will. Yeah, that automatic pilot thing. And I'm sitting here going, how often have some of you out there had a job, your boss was let go, but they never replaced them and you've taken on some of those and they Absolutely. say, well, we can't do this yet. So just as much as corporations can do that direction, they can go away from these pay scale things and sticking you in a box. Yeah, agreed. So I encourage those who are watching, press that envelope because if they really value you, they will step up no matter what that box of a pay scale is. That's just the bullshit line to get you to close your mouth and fall in line. Yeah. And so I've, I, and I've heard that a lot out of people's mouths lately. It must be some human resource convention they all went to two years ago and now it's like the buzzwords you know <laughs> and i'm like going i i challenge people and i'm like you know maybe that's the benefit of me being an entrepreneur you know i've never really drank the juice of any system that's out there but um you know it, i just would challenge you that you know it doesn't have to be that and 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 then even it's it's almost like dating if you will if you're dating somebody and you're not really sure if they're, you know, fully committed, and blah, blah, go on a date with somebody else and see how much they like you. So true. And if they pull away, well, then that's great. Well, your work life is no different. Go interview on jobs. Go put your, have your energy go to somewhere else. Right. And, and you'll see how things then shift either internally or you wind up getting a great opportunity outside. Yep. It's really like test the waters. Yep. And test your own perceptions. Yep. Challenge them. Yep. And, you know, this week we wanted to just give you these little nuggets, little foods for thought. And by all means, next week, come and give us your questions. We still would love anyone who wants to come on as a panel, whether you're a success story um, or someone who wants to come in and get coaching and be on a panel with Karen and I, we are here. Please just send us a direct message. And um, by all means, um, enjoy your week. And we'll see you next week for Awaken Your Work Life. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.